Alright YouTube, what's good? It's Cool Story Bro Battle with this 51st narrated showdown battle. This is Yu Yu, and this is another one of the plethora, and this is another battle of the plethora of battles I have saved in my Firefox browser, and I'm just dishing them out one by one on this YouTube every day, every day, we out here, or something. Anyway, this battle is old, like I said, but I'm not using that one team with the Heracross and the Cafagragus and the... Launch crew. No, this is this is a. I mean, this team was new at the time, but now this team is old. I'm like five teams ahead of this. I make like a new team every week. I swear, but yeah, I call this team Crunch Berries and a Black Spoon because you know everybody on the team is like green and blue and purple and I'm real into black. But you know you can have like a black spoon in a bowl of cereal. It counts. But anyway, this battles against this dude named First Starters, and this was on a ladder. And looking at this guy's team, most people will want to quit off team preview. I mean look at it, he's got a whole team of pranksters. But unfortunately I do not have a bro bat in this video, so this is not gonna be the installment of swagger. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is not gonna be another one of those. But you know, just looking at but I guess I'll explain my team because you might not have seen it before. You probably had if you watched me on Showdown. But Scarf Chandelure. It was originally Spec Chandelure, but I decided to go Scarf because after I finished the team I noticed I didn't have a good revenge killer, so I decided to put Scarf instead. And it's pretty dope. Pretty dope. Uh, I got Brobaline here with the Swords Dance Lumberry. It's my favorite set. I, I love rocking it. Brobaline is one of the one of the coolest Pokemon in Yu Yu. For real, man. I'm not even kidding. This thing is dope. Blastoise is my rapid spinner. Shay Men, Modest Life Orb. Hits like a truck covered in bushes. Uh, Gligar, physically defensive wall, Umbreon special wall, I, I'm addicted to the Umbreon and Gligar core. It guarantees free rocks and good health insurance. Take that Obamacare. But anyway, let's just begin. You already see this guy's team. He's got a bunch of pranksters. I lead off with Chandelure. He leads off with Whimsicott. Goes straight for a substitute as I bring it, start balling with a Fire Blast. He goes for another sub. Miss my second Fire Blast. Kind of annoying. I switch out in the shade man because I know he's going to go for Leech Seed, but he actually surprises me and goes straight for the Stun Spore, and he switches out into his Murkrow now as I go for the Seed Flare, because I knew he was going to switch, because Whimsicott can't do anything, and I switch in Umbreon because I don't know what this thing's about to do, but he uses Mean Look on me, and I'm like, oh crap, he has Prankster Mean Look, and he has Prankster Paris Song behind the Substitute, so basically, he's about to get a free cheap kill on my Umbreon, and I can't do nothing about it, he puts me on a timer. I can't do that. I can't even break his subs with foul play. It was it was shady. It was shady for real. Like that tactic is so down low, man. <laughs> but look, I'm just trying to foul play and break a substitute. He switches out as I'm about to die next turn. I can't switch. He switches in Sableye as I lose Ombreon. And that would seem discouraging except for the fact I kinda don't need him for this battle. I switch in Shade Man, you know, hit him with that C flare, that modest life orb demolishes Sableye. I switch in the gun show because I know this Tornadus has to be sub bulk up. He wouldn't be running Rain Dance on like a completely weatherless team. So I just go for a roar on him as he tries to set up on me. He encores me. I'm just spamming roar now. And you know, he hits me with the superpower. But look at that, man. I'm physically defensive, man. I'm a, I can take hits all day. I'm the gun show. Come on, man. So I send this C Ray's walls predicting the Thunder Wave from his Lipert. Because I've heard about the Thunder Wave Swagger Foul playset. In fact, I faced it once like a super long time ago. If you really dig through my videos. But, um, anyway, I got C-Ray's Walls here. Now, he uses Dark Pulse. I think it's kind of interesting because this set usually runs Foul Play. I U-turn, switch out on a Bro Belion. And this guy is kind of like my one-time insurance against Lyper. He Thunder Waves me, but I have Lumberry. So, I demolish his Lyper with Close Combat. He didn't see it coming, but basically... I definitely made good use of Broba line right there on that play. I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad I pulled it off. Um, he's me with the flying gem acrobatics on the gun show, and it does like a big chunk of damage. And two, it KOs me actually. So switching Chandelure, I'm scarf. So I'm just gonna roast him with fire blast, like bam. So switches in Murkrow now. Switching C Ray's walls my Glacor, cause I got this sick play in my head. Look, I know he's gonna mean look me, so I U turn. Do damage to a substitute, bring in Brobalion, switch back into C Ray's walls so he traps me with Mean Look again. U turn once again to break his substitute as he goes for Roost. And now, now, I bring in Chandelure, hit him with the trick. I don't hit him with Fire Blast, I hit him with a trick to lock him into whatever move he chooses next. 
he used his Parish Song on me, and now I hit him with a Fire Blast, and it 2 it KOs him, so he can't even afford to try to stall me out, because it's not gonna work. And he's locked in a Parish Song anyway. So, basically, I just crushed his Murkrow with the sickest play I just came up with off the top of my head. So, I know he's gonna substitute to try to stall Shannon Lord, so I'm gonna switch back to Shayla, because, you know, Whimsy Cock can't do nothing to it. So, I know he's gonna switch into Vol Beat, so I'll just go for the Psychic, because it's like the only move I have that hits it for neutral damage on the Shaman. And he goes for the tail glow, and he gets all sped and body by the fire blast. He got roasted, so he sends in his whimsicott here. He tries to leave see me, and I just cook him with the fire blast. Whimsicott, no, flimsicott. Yes. Now this good game for starters. Chandelure was the star of this battle, and I don't know. I thought it was just pretty awesome to just see how much a team that is generally annoying as death on paper just gets dethroned like that. I mean, that was. That was it. This team is actually pretty good for real. But like every other team I've tried to use, that I've tried to make an ult with on Showdown to ladder with, I always end up landing in the 1700s. No matter what happens, I'm always cursed to land in the 1700s. Be it this team, the last team I was using, the next team you're gonna see me use, the team after that, whatever. I'm always gonna land in the 1700s whenever I try to make an account to get on the ladder with. It's inevitable, it happens. It's it's the bro back curse, unfortunately. But Call of Locky kind of helped me fix it, until uh, you know, until a random decay happened. But that's that's another cool story for another cool day. And it's pretty hot outside today, and I need to get to work soon. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and favorite the video. I'm hoping you guys are really liking these consistent uploads. I'm really firing them off here now. By the time you're seeing this, it's probably Wednesday, no doubt. And um. The thing with this, or Tuesday, or whatever, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I don't know. It'll probably be Tuesday when you see this, my bad. Well, on Thursday, I'm actually leaving for a trip to New York, and I'm not going to be back till like, late Sunday. So, after you see this video, possibly the video I have after it, if any, if any, I don't know, this might be the last one you see till next week. But, yeah, basically... Since we're going to be on vacation, I can't record, I can't narrate, I can't do nothing, I can't even battle people for real, so, yeah. After this video, just buckle your, tighten your belts a little bit, hold it down for me for the, like, the weekend, and I'll be back with you next week sometime, and we'll keep the train moving. But until then, thank you guys for watching, I'll see you around.